Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of FinServe Tech Oracles. I'm John Burke, CTO of Nemertes, here with my oracular colleague, Jerry Murphy, to share our thoughts on technology for financial services firms. For this episode, Jerry wanted to discuss the growth of AI agents and their expanding uses. Let's start, though, with what the current state of AI agents is and where you see them going, Jerry. Well, um... AI agents, uh, you know, artificial intelligence agents, uh, they're uh, uh, pieces of software that uh, attempt to sort of replicate, you know, human behavior. Most notably, we see these in chat bots, where I'm sure many people have seen these in many different ways, where it's like, hey, I'm here to help you, you know, uh, you know, open your checking account or open a trouble ticket with Comcast or something like that. And basically what they historically do is collect a bunch of basic information just so they can sort of triage what the issue is and depending how you respond to the thing, then branches you into initially passing you on to a human being. But increasingly, if you're saying something that's well and easily defined, they may take an action. So, uh, you know, reset your password and it'll kick off the software that then links you to an account that lets you reset set your password. So there are certainly some actions that these agents can do that are, let's call it autonomous in the sense that you don't necessarily need human intervention. But, but th then the question is, what are those sets of things I might have this agent do that could truly take an action that is more sophisticated, but at the same time, maybe more risky. Like you say, you call your bank and you say, you know, I want to transfer all the money out of my checking account or uh, something like that. Or something that sounds like you calls your bank and says you want to move well, all your money out of your checking there account. There you go. You, even so, more to the point. Sure. That, that, uh, leads us right into then the question of where should financial services companies lean into these things as they obviously have done with the chatbots and and where should they hold off yeah so i think it is a great point to to use computers to help uh you know scale things up so that uh, i don't either a need to have as many people or b i can have my people doing higher level uh, more sophisticated things and I think when we're in the area of uh, assisting human beings as opposed to replacing human beings, we're probably in a good spot. So one of the areas I think is really good for AI expanding is analysis, right? So if I can look through a massive mound of data and I'm trying to spot a, a trend, like I'm trying to help a company figure out what products are selling so I, I can figure out where I want to, you know, expand my line or what are some things maybe I need to get rid of uh, on financial services, you know, analyze somebody's spending patterns and saying it, it looks like uh, somebody's spending too much money here or maybe they should be spending some money someplace else. Uh, that kind of analysis, I think, is a really great place because one of the things that humans are not great at is munging through repetitive tons and tons of data and then remembering what the counts are on the you know 27 different variables that you're you're analyzing. Uh, computers are really good at that thing. When it comes to taking an action that's going to uh, uh, risk your money, expose your privacy, uh, uh, things like that that could cause a a substantive change in uh, let me call it your state. Uh, that's where I think we've got to really make sure we have humans in, in the loop. And that's not to say that we can't have um, autonomous, you know, engines uh, helping us with, you know, here's three courses of action. This one looks the best, but I'm still uh, really reluctant to let go of the reins and let the automation actually take some of those actions that would in fact, transfer your money, cancel an account, uh, or, or things that are actually going to change the state of things. So what do you recommend to financial services IT folks who are, who are listening to us now? Well, uh, I think 
uh, certainly you want to embrace artificial intelligence and specifically generative AI. Uh, there are things that it can do. If, if I'm talking about taking a routine action uh, that is well-defined and let me say not risky, uh, it absolutely makes sense to uh, use artificial intelligence for those things. It makes super sense to look at uh, helping assist in making recommendations of looking at through lots of data to find complicated trends to say, here's, it looks like the market's going this way. It looks like this stock might be a good buy. It's undervalued. Uh, those are great things to aid you in the analysis. I would stop at the, okay, then short the share, uh, buy these shares, sell these shares, transfer this money. When it, when it comes to those type of actions, I would, uh, I, I don't even mind uh, autonomous agents helping make recommendations there, but you got to have a human there uh, between the button, right? <laughs> right before you push the button. Uh, because those kind of risks, I think, today are still ones I wouldn't want to have done autonomously. Okay, cool. So let me see. Your top takeaways for the week would be figuring out what kind of AI capabilities you've got around the place. Do engage it in places where it can offer you insights to consider looking through the mounds of data that humans aren't great at looking through. Uh, but don't yet engage it for anything autonomous. It's not ready to be your agent for anything really important or risky. And that's it. Yeah, that's and I think it for it's us. going to be that way for a while. I mean, people talk about the advancing technology. It's going to continue to advance, but I think it's going to be a lot longer than a lot of people think before I would trust uh, generative AI to do those kind of risky things. You heard it here first, folks. That's it for us until next week at 12 o'clock. Thanks again for watching and listening. Jerry, have a great day. Yeah, you too, Jen.